voorstellen. Nou, hoi, ik ben er weer. Ja. Um, vorige keer ben ik hier ook geweest, ik ben Priscilla en toen was mijn haar paars ja. met grijs. Dus nu gaan we wat anders doen. Oké, okay, Priscilla had uh, different shades of uh, grey and blonde together. And now we're going to make a, a nice bob and I show you uh, a new way to cut a bob. Will you turn for you and the rest of the world? And Let's show you. Yeah, throw it. <laughs> and you have still a lot of hair. Yep. Yep. And you want a long bob? Yeah. Shoulder length? Mag wel yeah, iets shoulder. korter. Okay, just above the shoulder. Yeah. Okay, the friends on YouTube are going to do her hair and uh, you hear she wants a bob and she wants it just above uh, her shoulders so that is what I'm going to do. The last time we made a, a, a name shave but now she is growing this back so there we did nothing and we will make highlights in her hair. First she washed her hair at home so I have to dry it and that I will do in the saloon because it's very boring to watch uh, drying of hair. <laughs> And then I'm back to show you how I cut this bob. Okay, we're back. I blow dried the hair. You see, this was the undershave. I pin the hair away to put on protection. And I'm going to do this uh, standing because it makes the cutting this way a lot easier. Look there. Mm -hmm. Nice purple. Few let pop all. What I'm going to do is I put a comb on my blades and uh, the iron is not hot because I want it in a cold position, but it's the best way to uh, get a straight line into her hair. So this I'm going to use to make the straight line and then I'm going to clip it off on the under parts. Now I parted the hair in a straight line, so a circle around. I'm going to take up the hair, put in my iron, get as near to the skin as I can, take it down, make a line. It has to be above her shoulders. Take my clipper and because I hold it this way, escape. So now I'm sure I have all her hair in it. Can make a total straight line and work it easy up. Come to the last part. I comb the hair. Watch if there's some parts sticking out. I always do because I have an undershave and they not working with me in this line. But this is my first baseline. And I'm going to work all the hair on it. Makkelijk hè, zo hè. Zo. Mooi lijf. Ja. Kun je maar zien? Wacht. Ja. Ik ga het op de dingen zetten. Ik zie het dan hier. Leuk hè? Heel recht. Ja. Ik ga het vrije de haar. Dat is een soort pom. Haar haar. Ik doe het twee keer, want ze heeft heel thick haar. Ik kan het pick de haar op. Ik ga het neer tot de skin als ik kan. Ik put het in mijn kom. Pull it down, watch where I left. There I go in with my clipper. I can hear she has thick hair. Yeah. Take out people from other countries. Yeah, certainly. In the court, there are Americans. The same. Get in. Go to my line and just cut. Connect both lines in a freehand style. Just the small parts are sticking out. 
Now go to the front. Not my hair. <laughs> yeah. She has a lot of hair. It's echt snel gegroeid als ik dat zo zie. Again, take my comb, take the hair up, put the blades between it, set it in a straight line, work till I get to the line, start my clipper, can lift it up because the hair don't escape from this uh, iron, only take off the small parts, you can do it also afterwards. Now only the last part. On this side, and this side is even more thick because when you see how thick this hair is, it's just one part. So take this in two times. It's always one part of the skull is thicker hair as the other part. Can take the hair up. Put my iron on it, take it to the line of cutting. And even my Panasonic has problems with this hair because <laughs> the thickness of the hair. Because, and it's the, I think the most wonderful machine to do thick hair with. Now she all also want to thin it out, so that I also do, but I don't do that with the clipper. That I do with a Kiyono system. Now I comb the hair down and with my comb and my scissor I just correct the lines. Just the small parts that are sticking out, it's not much. Now I have to watch at the neckline, if that is even. Okay, now I'm going to uh, thin it out. I do this with my Kiona thinning scissors. I show you how di how much difference there is between them. She loves to have ultra thin hair, so all this. Scissors, you don't see where they cut because they have special fees and they make uh, no hard lines into the hair because they are a little bit in angle. I will use this one for her. I parted the hair in the same way I did at the start. Start on this side, stay away about a centimeter from the start. So the connection between the hair and the, and the face lines. I come so to your side, so you will see what I do. And then you can also see that you don't see where it's cut. But believe me, it takes away a lot of hair and a lot of weight. I only do this in the underlayers because the underlayers uh, are protected for everything. The sun, the air, everything. So they always grow nice back. Watch if the fin is all the same. And I think she feels already that the weight yep. is coming off. Now I free the upper hair. Also take about half. Get in again. Another part. Go, yeah, go to a centimeter from the front.
and makes her a lot smaller in her face lines because now it lays flat through her head and when we started it stood out. This is her natural fall so I stay away about a centimeter of that so I have enough hair to cover the short parts. I show you when we are ready what's laying on the ground because it's a lot of hair that's laying on the ground. Take this part over it so you don't see anything of everything I did. Go to the other side. This is the thickest part. You know, went in two times cutting. Stay away a centimeter from the start. You can hear she has wonderful hair. Ultra strong. It grows very fast. Take this also in two times. But it's like climbing. It's still climbing the castle. It's wel better. Yeah, it's fine. Dale ook draag is gewoon lekker. Can stay away from the the natural fall, so leave a part of about a centimeter from it, start a little bit lower. So now I fit it out. Give it some extra effect on the ends. Do this also with my thinning scissor. Do a deep cut technique about a centimeter or two, three. It's about an inch. Same I do on the other side. Take the rub. Be aware that you don't cut in your fingers with this scissor because it hurts a lot. It's not like a normal scissor. This takes away a part of your finger and not just the slice. Now I have a lot more playable effect into her hand. And it's a lot thinner. Okay, now I can prepare her to get highlights. <laughs> and this is uh, the amount of hair that came off. And it's a lot of hair, believe me, you see her feet, so. And she has a size uh, 36, 37, I think. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the amount of hair that came off. I, th I think it's a lot of hair. Okay, now I made her a bleach on conditioner base. We put on the protection because it's always needed to put on protection. I'll make it uh, highlights in a freehand style. I just bring them in, in in the natural fold. Don't use foil, I lay the hair on each other to make it the most natural fold I can get. Again, start with parting. I stay about the eyebrow line to work on, first line. I don't want to have a lot of highlights in it because that makes hair totally dry. So I will work in a soft way and most highlights will lay on top. Yeah, not steeds, eh? I dip my bleach on the brush. I use a Goldwell bleach. It's a very gentle bleach for the hair. 
and just bring in fine lines. So that we make look. Mm -hmm. Ja, meestal doen het allemaal met van die. Voordeeltjes. Ja, en dan ja. heb je zo'n kam en dan moet je dat en dat doen. Ja, maar ik wil een natuurlijke bleach hè? Dat is een natuurlijke lijn. Ja. Dat vind ik mooi. Dan krijg je ook een natuurlijke soort bal. Ja. Talking in the Dutch way about uh, how I make this bleach. I want natural uh, coloring, so I don't want hard lines in it. And that I can do when I do it in freehand style, because every line I make is different. So that's why I can make a natural fold into there, and a natural color. Go about two and a half centimeters higher. That's about an inch. Come to a spot where natural colors are gone. I think uh, she, <laughs> she had a hit on the head. No. <laughs> With hammer. <laughs> Father did it. Uh, yeah, probably. <laughs> she was so small she didn't recognize <laughs> what happened. <laughs> it's all work uh, till I get on top. Every time about a centimeter, one and a half. The wire and go up, but it's a little bit nearer to each other. And because there is a deep conditioner into this bleach, you don't smell anything. So it's, uh, it's very gentle to the hair and also to my nose and her nose. And I got next. No. It's ammonia free also. Coming on the natural fall. The front I make a little bit more because there are the money makers. They they can see her, she can see her it herself. So that's why I'm going to lay a little bit more at the front. Now I'm going to wait for about uh, 50 minutes, 20 minutes at the maximum, and then I'm certain that I have the good color. Rinse it out, and then I'm going to style it for you. Okay, we're back from coloring, and uh, what I put in the, in the first uh, line was a new product of Lanza. Step one is protecting the hair for, for coloring and it le let the color last longer. And now on top of that, I lay step two, and that's a, a product that comes from flowers. You put a little bit on before you do anything, and it brings out the colors even better, and it gives the colors also a last for more than 100%, so 107 to, they tell you, but that's, that's to tell you that it's more than 100% longer. On top of that, because I want to create a, 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 yeah, a, a bit of flowy hairstyle, I use uh, rings of Lakme, it's a wonderful product, it nurses the curls, and also the curl. <laughs> Come into the hair. And I'll start blow drying. Starting the other lines. Working the hair up. And you see she has already a nice fall of hair, so she has a lot of movement in it. And by rings it is stimulated, so it gives even more movement to the hair. You leave it a little bit uh, wet. So for now, this is ready. 
Now I show you a new product uh, what I put on in the first time but also now and after that I put on the argan oil but now you can see what it does to the hair when you put it on it brings a lot of glow and more dip depthness into the color now I take a little bit argan oil shake it through her hair a little bit more at the front do the same on this side now gently did her back And this is her new hairstyle and color. Yeah, shake it, baby. <laughs> oh, God. A lot thinner. More movement. So, lekker, man. Yeah, lekker. Okay, you turned already. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Thank you for modeling. You're welcome. Thank you.